Hey there, fellow TV aficionados. Do you, do you remember the days when you curled up on the couch, perhaps with a bowl of popcorn or a warm cup of tea, and tuned in to watch the timeless classic, Murder? She wrote back in 1984. Ah, oh, those were the days, weren't they? As we journey back in time, let's take a moment to reminisce about those evenings spent in the company of Jessica Fletcher, the brilliant amateur sleuth played by the iconic Angela Lansbury. Do you recall the thrill of trying to solve mysteries alongside her? Or maybe it was the charming Cabot Cove setting that had you hooked. And who could forget those quirky yet endearing characters that graced our screens, adding their own unique flavor to each episode? Whether you were captivated by the intricate plots, enchanted by the small town charm, or simply enjoyed the soothing familiarity of Angela Lansbury's presence, murder, she wrote had a special place in the hearts of many. So, dear viewer, why not take a trip down memory lane and share your fondest moments, cherished characters, and memorable experiences related to this beloved show? Let's celebrate the magic it brought into our lives and keep the spirit of Jessica Fletcher's adventures alive. Now, as we settle into our cozy nostalgia, let's dive into some intriguing random facts about murder she wrote that you might not know. Get ready for some behind-the-scenes secrets and trivia that will deepen your appreciation for this TV gem. But first, let's hear your stories. Share away, and let's keep the conversation flowing. D-Y-U-I, at do you rot you rye the unique traits of Jessica Fletcher in Murder, she wrote Jessica Fletcher, the beloved protagonist of the TV series Murder, she wrote, is known for her exceptional problem-solving skills and knack for solving crimes. While the show primarily revolves around her amateur sleuthing adventures, there are some intriguing details about her character that often go unnoticed. One of the most notable traits of Jessica Fletcher is her inability to drive. Throughout the series, viewers may have observed that she relies on bicycles, taxis, or rides from her extensive network of friends, family members, acquaintances, and even law enforcement officers. This unique characteristic adds a layer of authenticity to her character, making her more relatable and down-to-earth. Unlike many fictional detectives who drive flashy cars, Jessica's choice of transportation aligns with her unassuming and approachable nature. Moreover, it's fascinating to note that Jessica Fletcher's hometown, Cabot Cove, harbors a little-known secret. The picturesque harbor scenes in the series were not actually filmed in Cabot Cove but at the Jaws Lake on the Universal Studios tram tour. This surprising tidbit reveals the magic of television production, where iconic locations can sometimes be far from where they appear. Additionally, the story behind Angela Lansbury, the actress who portrayed Jessica Fletcher, choosing the role is worth mentioning. Before being offered the role of Jessica, Lansbury had the opportunity to appear in a sitcom. However, her manager wisely advised her to opt for a drama instead. A year later, Murder, she wrote debuted on CBS, while the proposed sitcom, The Golden Girls, made its debut on NBC. Interestingly, Angela Lansbury's best friend, B. Arthur, starred in The Golden Girls as Dorothy. Although both shows achieved immense success, it's intriguing to consider the paths not taken by these two talented actresses in the competitive television landscape of the time. In conclusion, while Murder, she wrote is celebrated for its engaging mysteries, and the brilliant character of Jessica Fletcher, these lesser-known details about the character and its production add a unique layer of interest to the beloved series. The TV series Murder, she wrote, which aired in 1984, was set in the fictional town of Cabot Cove, Maine. However, it was primarily filmed on the West Coast, in Mendocino, California and on the Universal Studios backlot in Los Angeles. The exterior of Jessica Fletcher's house, a central location in the show, was portrayed by the Blair House in Bed and Breakfast in Mendocino, a building with historical significance dating back to 1888. This inn became a significant part of the series, with a VIP room being renamed as Angela's Suite in honor of Angela Lansbury, who played Jessica Fletcher. Additionally, a replica of Jessica's iconic bike could be found in the inn's garden. While the show aimed to capture the ambience of New England, many other supposed New England locations were actually filmed in Oregon and Northern California. This behind-the-scenes information sheds light on how the show managed to maintain its charming New England atmosphere despite its West Coast filming locations. Intriguingly, the show's title, Murder, she wrote, is a nod to the Miss Marple mystery murder, she said, which itself was based on a novel by the renowned author Agatha Christie. 
This connection underscores the show's roots in the classic mystery genre. Moreover, it's worth noting that Angela Lansbury, who portrayed Jessica Fletcher, and Jerry Orbach, who had a recurring role in the series, both went on to lend their voices to Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Lansbury voiced Mrs. Potts, while Orbach voiced Lumiere. Additionally, David Ogden Steers, a guest star on Murder, she wrote, also joined them in the Disney classic as Cogsworth. Notably, the first installment of Beauty and the Beast was in production during the same time Murder, she wrote, was being aired. These insights into the filming locations and the show's connections to classic mysteries and Disney classics add depth to our understanding of the beloved 1984 TV series, Murder, she wrote. In the 1984 TV series Murder, she wrote, the word murder made quite a frequent appearance. In fact, it was featured in the individual titles of 48 episodes. This prolific use of the word highlighted the show's central theme of solving murder mysteries. But Murder, she wrote, had more to offer than just its catchy titles. It was part of a shared universe with another popular series, Magnum Pi. In two crossover episodes, Jessica Fletcher, the main character of Murder, she wrote, found herself in Hawaii and embroiled in a case where Thomas Magnum, played by Tom Selleck, was framed. Higgins, Magnum's butler, sought Jessica's assistance in clearing Magnum's name. These crossover episodes were titled Magnum Pi. Novel connection in Murder, she wrote, Magnum on Ice. While Jessica Fletcher had her fair share of recurring helpers in solving murders, such as Dennis Stanton, private investigators Harry McGraw, and Charlie Garrett, British intelligence agent Michael Haggarty, and NYPD, Detective Lieutenant Artie Gelber, only one of these characters got a spin-off series. Harry McGraw, portrayed by Jerry Orbach, got his own show titled The Law and Harry McGraw. So, Murder, she wrote, not only featured intriguing murder mysteries, but also had interesting connections to other shows, making it a memorable part of television history. And that's the scoop on Murder, she wrote in 1984, where the word murder played a significant role in episode titles, and it shared a universe with Magnum Pi, with a spin-off to boot. The fictional town of Cabot Cove in the 1984 TV series Murder, she wrote, is based on a real harbor inlet in Kennebunkport, Maine. This inlet is located on a main road with a bridge over a small bay. Nearby, you can find motor hotels and lobster, crab shack restaurants, just a short walk from the main village. While the pilot episode's town exteriors were filmed in Mendocino, California, subsequent seasons were filmed on a two-hour show schedule. The main Victorian mansion served as Jessica Fletcher's house, and the exterior sheriff station was the local ranger's station. In 1992, the exterior changed to a coastal bluff building on the main street. Various small business shops stood in for the exteriors of places like a beauty salon and a newspaper office. The Hill House Hotel used the exterior, grounds, parking, and interior lobby and check-in desk of Mendocino's largest hotel. Specific episodes were filmed on the beach and bluff area, while the harbor of Fort Bragg was used for docks, exterior pubs, and wharf buildings. Interior restaurant scenes above the harbor also portrayed Cabot Cove. At Universal Studios' backlot, the Jaws Lake attraction doubled as the exterior village. The show maintained the studio's exterior buildings until its cancellation in 1996, after which they fell into disrepair. The exterior Victorian Best Little Whorehouse set, originally on Stage 12, was relocated to a hill area on the backlot and served as Jessica's house, with interiors redressed and repainted for various episodes. So, the next time you watch Murder, she wrote, keep in mind the real locations that inspired the charming setting of Cabot Cove. And that's your scoop on the Murder, she wrote, filming locations. As we draw the curtains on this retrospective journey through the timeless 1984 TV series, Murder, she wrote, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the personal connection you've forged with this beloved show. Angela Lansbury's portrayal of Jessica Fletcher, the mystery-solving author, has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on our hearts and minds. Perhaps you recall the thrill of piecing together clues alongside Jessica as she unraveled complex mysteries in the quaint town of Cabot Cove. 
Or maybe it was the sense of camaraderie among the characters that resonated with Wadi Yuar friendships, the intrigue, and the ever-present charm of small town life. Murder, she wrote, was more than just a television series. It was an invitation to explore the depths of human nature, the intricacies of the human mind, and the enduring power of storytelling. It became a weekly ritual for many, a source of inspiration, and a testament to the enduring allure of classic whodunits. Now, it's your turn. Share your cherished memories, your favorite episodes, or the lessons you've learned from Jessica Fletcher's adventures. Let's keep the spirit of this iconic series alive by celebrating the connections it has forged among us. Thank you for joining us on this journey down memory lane, and for keeping the spirit of murder she wrote alive. Your thoughts and memories are the threads that weave this enduring tapestry of nostalgia. So, share away, and let the conversation flow as we continue to honor this timeless gem. Until next time, keep solving those mysteries, dear friend, and may your love for murder, she wrote, shine brightly. With gratitude and anticipation, 